So, Billy, you are no stranger to adventure. I mean, you've been visiting uh, conservation projects in the South Pacific, Indian Ocean, uh, South Korea, Far East, Near East, I mean, all over the place. So, what, what, what's the point of it all? What are, you, what are you trying to do? I'm a sustainability and environmental management student at University of Leeds. And so I've done a couple of years of that, learning all about everything regarding sustainability, biodiversity management, and Basically, it got to the point where I was like, I need to go and learn more. I read a big assessment about the state of our global biodiversity. And as a person who needs to see stuff to be able to really understand, I decided to go off on what I call my conservation journey. Now, we came across you because you visited a friend of ours, Game Reserve in Pakistan, Padri Game Reserve. What, what were you looking for there and what did you find? Yeah, so that was really interesting. I was doing my research for what I wanted my next ramblings to be, which is the little videos I do about my conservation adventures. And I, ca I came across the sort of headlines that Pakistan seems to be one of the best examples of sustainable use conservation in the world. And for me, as someone who's not a hunter or things like this, that came across as quite an abstract thought. But as an open-minded conservationist, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go explore this with my eyes and ears open to see whether sustainable use conservation or trophy hunting really can be a viable conservation mechanism in this modern world. Okay, just tell me what you mean by sustainable use conservation, or at least what did you mean by sustainable use conservation before you went to Padre? Well, I first came across that term in Padre, really, and I much like it to the term trophy hunting, which has such negative con connotations in mainstream media, really. And that's where I'd heard most of this before. And so coming in with a new perspective and hearing about the idea of it being sustainable use conservation, I much preferred that as a terminology. I mean, you're very good at the words, you see. I mean, I, I, I watched one of your videos on Vanuatu, where you visited what you call the Sustainable Carbon Project, which I would call a wood, you know. Uh, and, and, and so, Padre Game Reserve, you discover sustainable use conservation or trophy hunting, as depending on which, which way you call it. What were they hunting and, and, and how did it work for you? Why did it work for you? What they were mainly trying to protect was the Punjab Uriel, because it was being hunted unsustainably towards extinction. And the West Gillam CBO, where the Padre Private Game Reserve is located, is basically the final refuge for this species. The Pakistan Trophy Hunting Programme had proved successful in the Northern Territories of the country for things like the Himalayan Ibex, for things like the Markor. So in 2005, they decided that after seeing the decline in the Punjab Uriel and decline in habitat, they decided that they were gonna open up and try this programme down here in the Punjab Salt Flats as well. And so that was a thing that happened and it proved successful. Does it surprise you that you are now see the value in what, what we call hunting? I wouldn't say I'm surprised because I think the economic value that hunting brings to things is a huge plus. And that's one thing that I've noticed lacks in a lot of conservation projects that I've seen from around the world on my journey. But I guess one thing that doesn't surprise me is seeing the relationships that these hunters have with the nature around them and the value that they place on nature above just its aesthetic value. And, and, and they actually understand and appreciate the nature around them. And I think that's a thing that's incredibly important for us as we start to transition to try and resolve what I would call the sixth extinction and what a lot of people are calling the sixth extinction. And that these people, hunters who spend so much time around nature, they're the ones who seem to appreciate it. Yes or no, is hunting a possible way out of the sixth extinction? I don't think it is a solution in its entirety, but it definitely can play a part. Thank you very much, Billy. Billy, they're putting the word Billy into sustainability and you can have a look at his YouTube channel by following the link on the screen.